Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Let's discuss SSH. Now, in this series of videos, we're going to be focusing on the tasks that require you to perform actions in your server rather than the ones that just require to write scripts. Now, in the SSH task, the only one that requires you to log into your server and do things actually is the let me in task. So we'll go ahead and set up our SSH, log into the server, and then begin the task. All right, so now I'll be using my local terminal for this. You can use your sandbox or whichever one that suits you. So now the first thing you need to do is generate an SSH key, which is the SSH-keygen command. Now I have one already, so I'll not be going, I'll not be continuing with this, but you can just click enter button and see to generate a new key for you. Now it will ask you where to store the key. You can also use the default one. That's totally fine. This is the default one. Just click the enter button. Now you can see I have that. It already exists, so I need to use the no to close it. But now, when you use the Y, let me use um, an example of that for you. I will try to use my sandbox to create a new key so you can see the entire process. So I have one sandbox running, uh, web terminal, yeah. So now SSH, I can key gen. Now you can see, enter. I have a key here also, so I'll just overwrite it, yes. Now you can use a passphrase, but it's not really required. Can also use no password but if you are using a passphrase make sure it's something you can remember because you're going to use it anytime you're trying to log into your server so now just enter enter again and now we have the ssh key created so let me just go back into my terminal and use the normal um one okay so now let's go now after creating your ssh key or if you're using the previous one you have that's totally fine you need to like um copy the ssh key so now i'll do this et command dot ssh id underscore rsa dot pub now this is my public key so now i'll copy i'll go ahead and copy this and now you need to paste this in your intranet profile now the reason for this is when you are trying to log into an ubuntu server in this case or basically any linux server there is a file in the server in the ssh folder called the authorized key file now this file contains of the public key contains the public key of every computer that can access this um server so like if you want my computer for example to access your server using ssh you need to copy my public key into that file so the reason we are providing this key into our profile is to enable us to log into the server so what the uh, alx does for us is alx copies this key and then paste it in that file so we can assess the server that's really how it works so now let me go ahead and paste this here save my profile and then continue the entire process so now the profile will save and then you can go ahead and ask for a new server so let's come here ask a new server okay Now we've gotten a new server, let's go ahead and see how we can log into this. So now usually, because of the process of copying, spinning up the server, and then copying the files, it might take a while, max two to three minutes. So you can just wait this out. Now you can, here you can see it's still pending. So the server is not running yet. So let me reload and see if that changes. Now still pending. So we can just wait a little for it to change to running. Then we can actually try to connect to the server. Otherwise to be showing connection refused. Let's just wait, um, reload the page again. Now you can see it's running. So let's go ahead and try to connect to this server. So you need to copy the IP address, right? And now this is the username. So now the proper way to write a uh, SSH command to connect to your server is this, SSH, right? Then your username on the server, which in this case is Ubuntu as stated by the page. Ubuntu is the username. So now let's say Ubuntu at then the IP address of the server that we copied earlier. So now let's say this and now this should log into the server for us enter button connection refused now this is because the server is still like um the uh how do i call it? the server is still like spinning up as i said it takes about two to three minutes so let's just wait this out so let's try again now you can see it's um saying if you want to connect and store it let's say yes enter now you can see permission denied now here is what is really happening in the background. After the server is spin up, right, you can see the server is now actually now responding. The server is responding now, so it means the server is running properly. But now, as I said, you need to copy the file, the um, 
public key into the file so now that is still running in the background that's why we are able to access the server right now so you just need to wait this out really now let's try again um now it should work yes so now the whole process is done and we can connect to our server successfully so now you can see we are already logged into the server um web 01 so now uh let me list my so just to confirm what i said earlier let me list my files now you can see we have the ssh folder dot ssh and now let me list my files in the sh folder so dot ssh now you can see we have the authorized keys file now if i should check what's inside this file we would see our public key is there so now cat dot ssh and then authorized keys so now you can see we have our public key inside of the server so now this is what enables us to log in so now let's go ahead we've done that successfully we've logged into the server and now let's go ahead and see the task let's main task now the main purpose of this task is to allow alx to log into our server and check if we've done our assignments properly so now remember i said you have to copy the sh key into the required file so that's what they're really asking us to do here now they saying add the sh key so we can log in to connect using the ubuntu user so now this what we're trying to do is enable alx to log into the server basically so what we just need to do is copy this sh key and paste it inside of that authorized key file so now remember to know variety the file we're going to be using the echo command or you can just open it using your editor vim or whatever it is but i, I think it's just easier to use the um, echo command so echo you paste the public key mm, no this wrong Oh, yeah. Echo. Paste. And then use the double angle brackets. So now we are using double angle brackets because we want to append to the file. If I use one, what this guess what will happen. If I use one, it should delete, delete all the contents of this file and then write in the current SH key. Now, this will mean that we will be unable to log into our server anymore. And that will be very annoying because your SH key will not be existing in the server. That means you'll be able to connect to it after this session is disconnected. So just make sure you use the double angle brackets and then dot SSH and then name of the file authorized keys. So I'll use the wildcard here. Now when I run the CAT command again, dot SSH and then keys, you can see we have the SH key already here also. So now when you use your checker for this task, it should check properly. This is taking a little long, so let me just check again. Oh yeah, check is complete. So now we did it successfully. So the rest of the task will require you to write a script for some things. Let's check the first one. It says you should write a script for connecting to the server using the SH key. So now let's let's just automate this entire process. Now the real, the real point of like learning how to program is to like automate your task, right? So just this is a bonus. Let me exit my server. Now you can see I'm back into my local terminal. Let's write a script to log into the server. So let me write a script. Um, let's use the nano editor, nano web 01. So now let's say SSH Ubuntu at. Let me go ahead and copy my IP address. Then exit. So now I've saved my file. Let me make it executable. U plus X web 01 so now when i run this script i should be able to log into my server web 01 now you can see i'm logging into my server now the reason why you can actually write this script is whenever you want to log into your server you don't really want to check for the ip address every time that will be quite slow so just automate the entire process to write a script to connect to your server now to make sure that you can use this script from anywhere in your in your own device what you need to do is just copy it to the bin directory so let me say mv um pseudo mv actually 
sudo mv uh, the web zero one file into um, the bin directory. Now this enables you to my um, username. So now this enables you to run this um, script from basically anywhere in your computer. Now you can see I don't have my um, web zero one file anymore, but now I can still see web zero one without the dot slash, and now it works fine. Okay, connect. Now that works. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me. So now, uh, thank you for watching. I'll be leaving the link to my repository inside of the um, description for this video. So you can just check out the script and understand how they work. Thank you once again. Goodbye.